Hey everybody, welcome to the Mac OS High Sierra What's New video. In this video, I'm going to discuss the updates and changes to the new version of Mac OS that comes out this fall. All of these observations are made using the Mac OS High Sierra public beta and of course are subject to change upon the final release this fall. I won't be going over every single change, just the ones I think are the most significant or noticeable. According to Apple, macOS High Sierra introduces new core technologies that improve the most important functions of your Mac. From re-architecting how it stores your data to improving how you watch videos to unleashing the full power of the graphics processors, it's all central to the today's Mac experience. The primary core technologies introduced are APFS, Metal 2, and built-in support for HEVC. APFS is not overly exciting from a user interface perspective, but you'll likely notice it when you first start using High Sierra. APFS is Apple's new 64-bit Apple file system with built-in encryption to make it even more secure. APFS also saves you disk space as it only actually writes one copy of each file to the disk and any subsequent copies are just links to the original on the file system itself, which in the end will likely end up saving people lots of disk space. Metal 2 is a new graphics technology that is now more energy efficient, which can increase your MacBook's battery life. It also now supports external GPUs and has increased graphics performance. HEVC, which stands for High Efficiency Video Codec, is a video codec that came out in 2013 that was designed to substantially improve coding efficiency in comparison to MP4 H.264 standard that Apple currently uses by default on both iOS video recording and iTunes. HEVC H.265 achieves a bitrate reduction of at least 50% in most cases while still delivering HD quality video and is ideal for 4K content. This is a great change for the future as this will allow 4K video to fit easily on all of our Apple devices, taking up less space than it would if they had used the current codec H.264. Photos also gets some improvements in High Sierra with a new always-on sidebar feature. There's also new professionally inspired filters and editing tools. High Sierra also has new tools to turn live photos into animated GIFs. Safari in High Sierra gets a nice performance speed boost with support for new WebKit features. And one of my favorite new features of Safari 11 is the ability to turn off autoplaying videos, as they drive me crazy. Also, Safari 11 gets some great new per-site settings to customize your web browsing experience. There's some great new features in Notes. My favorite is the new Pin Notes feature that allows you to pin your favorite notes to the top of your note list. You can also add or create tables in your notes, and there is support for viewing the documents that are scanned to notes using the new document scanner and notes for iOS 11. If you'd like to check out that video, there's a link in the description below and at the top in the little i box. And for those who have the newer MacBook Pros with the touch bar, there are all new buttons for AirPlay, Night Shift, and Picture in Picture while watching video. Some other minor yet notable changes in High Sierra include a Spotlight update that now includes more than one wiki entry when appropriate, Siri gets more expressive, and iCloud now gets share links that are similar to that of Dropbox. Overall, High Sierra is more of a refinement than a revolution, as a name change would imply, but a very welcome one at that. Well everybody, those are the improvements and changes in macOS High Sierra that I think most people will appreciate or notice. Like I said, I didn't go over all of the changes as there are over 100 from what I can see. Are there any updates, changes, or new features I didn't mention you think should have been in this video? If so, let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or informative, why not give it a thumbs up? And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos every week. As always, thanks for watching! And we'll see you in the next one.